Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Altitude is always a factor in the state of Colorado, but only one team is going to be a mile high. The other one is going to feel very low at the end of the day. Colorado and Colorado State in the Rocky Mountain Showdown. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. for kickoff and now it's time for the coin toss and it's brought to you by coke zero real coca-cola taste zero calorie enjoy everything colorado state lines up to kick this one off and we're just about set to get underway He'll return it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The Buffaloes right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game, and they've been waiting all week. They're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 29. Quick strike to the receiver, and he hits him hard at the 31-yard line. This young man has just established himself as the school's most prolific quarterback. Is he the best quarterback they've ever seen around here? You can make a pretty good argument. I don't know what game plan this offense is running. But it might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff. Carter is back deep to return the punt. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're heading in the right direction. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Passes to the back, incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. He's tackled right around the 50. Third down. He's on the run. And down he goes at the 41. That's a First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. 
Inside the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Sooners come into the game ranked 14th in the nation. Back and forth these two teams go, neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. The Sooners are out front, 3-0. In other action, let's take a look at Lawrence. And for Kansas, they've won two straight. And for Reddick, he puts up terrific numbers with four touchdown passes. The Jayhawks win it by 19. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. The Rams are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 25. The Rams quarterback went down with that injury early. He's the general of this offense, and they're really going to have to find a way to try to win this game without him. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Release tight end incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. That makes it second and ten. Down around the 44 yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Bryant is the putter. Carter fields it at the 26. He's out of bounds around the 35-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He gets hit out of bounds at the 50. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. It's first and 10. Ball on the 50. Colorado State is up seven. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 49-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Fakes to the back. They'll make the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play.
Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he's taken down at the 42. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 7-0, Colorado State. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Reynolds is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Taken down at the 28. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gets to around the 42. here he's gonna scramble and they make the stop the 39 yard line that one's more than good enough for the first down well Brad that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving from the 39 yard line it's first down Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made at the nine yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings up second and goal. to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Sooners take the field today, number 14 in the nation. Let's take a look at this one again. And for North Texas, they're staring squarely at a six-game losing streak. Oh. Oklahoma has the edge, 23-7. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. Colorado lines up for the kickoff. Carter from the seven. Tackle at the 33. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Yeah. 
takes the grab and steps out right away. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. That makes it first and ten. Man left, man left. First and ten. Ball on the 44. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Seems like every game this guy's in the offense's backfield, bringing guys down for a loss. He's just got a knack for making plays. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Myers gains four yards on that reception. That brings up third and ten. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. And they got it. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Colorado's going to take their first time out of the half. Smith, the return man. Gets to about the 41-yard line. A really defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think a lot of the offensive coordinator... Take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Catches it, and that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Pass completed and taken down immediately. up that's a great tackle at the 13 I credit the quarterback on that pass he made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down first down 10 to go ball on the 13 makes it to the five Harris gains around eight yards on the run Makes it second and two. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Back five, back five! Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown! Now he's the school's all-time leader in touchdown passes. Here's just another notch in what's been an outstanding career. It's sort of hard to comprehend how good he's been for so long. Makes the PAT. A five play, 59 yard drive. And it results in a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Wagner gains about two yards on the run. Colorado State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Second down, eight yards to go. 
Ball on their own 29. Throws complete and he's hit right away. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45. Here they come. Steps up and goes down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. 14-7, Colorado. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run us a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Taken from the 10, and he's tackled at the 23. The Buffaloes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Fires quick, tipped. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. The defender made a solid effort to get to the ball there. Nice stop. Reynolds awaits the snap. Smith fields it at the 35. He's taken down at the 49. It's going to be interesting to see how they get out in this series. Colorado up seven points. run there as they work the outside. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Got an opening. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Down at the 
24-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Up the middle for a nice game. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. converts the extra point. It was a six-play, 51-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Carter takes it from the six. He's out to the 30, and down he goes at the 37. Colorado's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle at the 39. That's good for the game. From their own 39-yard line, second down. Just throws this one away. of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. the tailback and he shoved out of bounds right around the 24 yard line that makes it second and six he has some room gains his way to the 10 yard line Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seventh. Throws to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown.
He splits the uprights with the extra point. Colorado State is lining up to kick this one off. Smith from the two. He's tackled at the 26. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here, to be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 25. Colorado is up seven. He's taken down at about the 33 yard line. That makes it 33. Two times, two times. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. So at the end of the third quarter, the Buffaloes lead 21-14. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Bryant is waiting for the snap. made at the 41. This is a pretty crucial series right here with things being so tight. Your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Leak sets up the play action. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. I love to see a confident quarterback. But you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Catches it, and that's all. Seven-yard play. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. First and ten. Ball on the 21. Tackle made at the 19. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. That makes it second and eight. Carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. 
So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Crosses short over the middle to his fullback. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. Easy, easy. And he's level at the nine. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the run. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the nine. Quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Yet set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Try the right side. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball in the 23. And they make the stop right around the 42 yard line. Just under two to go in the game. He wants it all going long. This one will fall incomplete. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 42. time in the world fires out to his wideout and down he goes at the 30 from the 30-yard line. First down. They come out in a five-wide set. Rose, and that one's gonna hit the ground incomplete. Here's the eighth play of the series. Nice run there. Harris comes away with five yards on the carry. 
The Buffaloes will use their first time out of the half. And this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. As expected, they'll call a timeout here and try to add a little pressure. They'll try to ice him with a timeout here. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He gets it up. Yes, he made it, and this one is over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid is a one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 24-21. Buffalo. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? Colorado comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.